Okay, I'm going to do a short game video here today on greenside bunker play with Seve Ballesteros. You know, this guy was a true magician around the greens and especially from the sand. And, you know, one reason being is that, you know, he grew up learning golf on a beach with only a three iron. So he had to be extremely creative. And also, he got very familiar with sand at a young age. So this is definitely one of the best bunker players we've ever seen do it, if not the best. So we're going to look at some tips and tricks that he's using from the bunker here to help you out with your own game. First tip we're going to cover here is opening the face where we can get a little extra loft on the club and also be able to use the sole of the club okay, properly through our hitting motion. So you can see next here that he's going to lean left just a little bit to his left side. This is to make sure he can get the proper angle on the shot he needs to play. If you watch his left elbow, see how he's tucking it here? No, no, no. Look at that index finger. It's like Matumbo. Not in my house. And what, what he's saying is, he does not want you to feel like your elbow is collapsing here at impact. So what he wants you to feel are these arms extending at impact. That way you can get a thud on the ball. And he doesn't want you to feel like you're trying to pull up on it with this arm. So right, no, no, no. None of that in here. So the way he controlled distance was by the speed and length of his swing. You can see here he has the club kind of in his right hand, just swinging it back and forth to get a feel of how hard he wants to hit it. And then here you can see he just kind of takes his right hand, right, and again kind of swings it back and forth to feel the shot. Okay, so let's look at some of the techniques he's using in his bunker play. You see immediately he's going to dig his feet into the sand a little bit here. You see he's just taking about an average width of stance here for this particular shot. Feet are a little bit open, where the left foot's behind the right a touch. Okay, here you can see he has his hands low, knees bent a little. Okay, as he goes to swing back, you can see he's getting a good set on the club here. And another trick he would use from time to time, especially when he was short-sighted, is he would roll this face open, which would cup his left wrist a little. That way the sole is really coming into play and adding a little bit of extra loft to the club there. So from here you can see his left arm straight, the right arm's about to extend right there and get the thud at impact. From here the ball's just going to pop on out, He's holding the true loft of the club, not letting it roll over. And then from there is where you'll see the arms kind of collapse closer to the body there to make sure the face is doing what it needs to be doing. And that's where the club will kind of sheath at the end. From here you see these allowed the body to rotate with the shot. Okay, that was Seve Ballesteros. Now, if you're a player that has trouble getting out of the sand and you've tried about everything, one of the best tips I could give you is, and it's known as a Seve Bunker Drill, is basically throw a lot of golf balls into a bunker like you've seen here. See where he has a pile of balls? Go grab your 3, 4, or 5 iron and then you have to find a way to try to somewhat resemble what a bunker shot should look like and get the balls out somewhat effectively. And if you can learn to do that with a longer iron, believe me, you've learned a lot of the techniques that are very crucial in order to execute a proper bunker shot. So that can be some good practice in order to find out and discover on your own how these shots need to be played. Okay, hopefully some of these ideas can help you out with your own game. And you all have a good day now. Thank you.